All right. I, I, I'm, I want to talk for, uh, at the top of the show tonight about uh, the dating shows on television. Anyone been watching The Bachelor lately? I watched that last night. Yeah. That's just a hoe fest. That's just ridiculous. Seriously. That's insane, that show. That's ridiculous television. There's tons of these shows on right now. Uh, Blind Date, uh, Dismissed. Uh, wow, that's sad. Uh, Shipmates, Eliminate, uh, Change of Heart. Tons of these shows. Apparently, I thought that's enough. There can't possibly be more. I find out today that there are a lot of new dating shows coming. New ones are going to be coming on the air like we don't have enough already. And I was curious, so using my pull in the television industry, I actually got a hold of some of these shows. And yeah, I got a hold of some of the new dating shows, and I thought maybe we should take a, a look at some of these new ones, a sneak peek here, so you can see it before anybody else. Okay, clearly you're thrilled about this. Uh, you're, no, that's, don't, don't humor me. It makes me angry. And then I giggle. Uh, no, there are a lot of these new uh, dating shows. First up, there's a new syndicated dating show that's going to be coming out, I think, in just a couple of weeks. It's called Hooking Up. It's called Hooking Up, and we actually have tape of it. Let's, let's check it out right now. I met Crystal at her work, and things were a little awkward at first. I think we were both a little nervous. He didn't look very clean. Luckily, Bernard was there to smooth things over. I said, get in the car with him, bitch! We get to the restaurant, and she's still pretty cold to me. I thought I was going to be on the worst state of my life. But then Bernard gave me some really good advice. Give her $200, mother I don't know why, but that seemed to do it. Suddenly, she was all over me, and I just knew we were going to hook up. You gave me $200. Anyway, the rest of the date's kind of a blur, but I'm pretty sure I got some play. So, would I go out with Crystal again? Yeah, I think so. All right, well, keep your eye out for that. That, that could be good. Now, this next one... This, uh, this next brand-new dating show was yanked off the air two minutes into the premiere episode. <laughs> It lasted two minutes, which is some kind of record before it was canceled. It was called Racist Daters. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. So, what kind of people do you hate? Um, I don't know. All kinds. Well, name one. Mm, I don't like Mexicans. When she said she hated Mexicans, I was like, wow. It was a real turn-on. <laughs> Not a good show. They took it off. It's gone. All right, folks, uh, the next dating show that's going to be coming out soon is called Hasidim Date. That's right, Hasidim Date. Take a look. Hasidim Date. <laughs> and I saw this doggy, and I said, doggy, get out of my way. You're <laughs> funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for this giant holler. It's a hell of a holler. <laughs> so, I think we made a little bit of a connection Yeah, here. I think so, too. <laughs> so let me ask you. Sure. Are you Jewish? No. <laughs> Hasidim date. Walking down the street there was this squirrel, and I said, Hey, squirrel, get out of my world! <laughs> I'm having a great time. So, are you Jewish? No. Hasidim <laughs> date. So I said to the little ducky, What do you have to say? And he said, Get the duck out of here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. What am I? Chopped liver? I go to get you a glass of wine, I come back, you're talking to another man? I can talk to whoever I want to talk to. You're a nafka, a loose woman. <laughs> so, are you Jewish? Yes. Baruch Hashem. <laughs> That's a happy ending. I like that. 
I was happy. All right, folks, and uh, and finally, this uh, this this last show. I don't quite know what's going on with this one. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's called Master Date. <laughs> Master Date. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's take a look. Hey, I'm Don. How's it going? Come on in. This is uh, my home. And I uh, thought I would uh, just go out, take myself out tonight, and uh, have a good time. And uh, if it all goes well, hopefully uh, come back here and uh, masturbate. This is exciting. Let me get some heat. Uh, just a table for one. Sure. Yeah, great, thank you. Ginger, I love ginger. <laughs> I know, I do. Here, let me feed it to myself. <laughs> it's Sasaki, and, and that kind of loosened things up a lot, so it definitely was, became more fun after that, you know? <laughs> I can tolerate a little flirting, but, you know, I had bought myself dinner, and I would paid to get me into the club, so I was just like, you know what, you can't have any part of this. I'm, I'm not here to share. Good night. Oh, I had a nice night. That was cool. On the ride home, I was definitely getting a good vibe, you know, I, was, I noticed I was smiling a lot and just kind of being real friendly and just sort of like closer to myself, you know, and I, just like, I started to think like this is a good position to be in. Right uh, 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 in the back seat of the car all by himself. <laughs> it was a great night. Looks like a hit. Show I think is a hit. I think it's the same guy every night. I don't think they, they don't switch. It's just the same guy. All right, everybody, we'll take a break. When we come back, Harry Connick Jr. is here. We got Amy Poehler.